Proposed changes to the planning system in England have been criticised by a group of MPs. They say there's a danger that too much emphasis could be given to economic growth at the expense of environmental and social concerns. Our political correspondent Ben Wright has the story. Where should new houses be built? What about the route of a new road or the site of a factory? The government wants to make the planning process in England simpler and faster. It believes new building is needed to boost the economy. There's a serious housing shortage too. And at the heart of the government's draft proposal is an instruction to local authorities to say yes to new building plans, so long as they're sustainable developments. MPs say this key part of the government's guidance should be scrapped. I think there's been a, a general feeling that the document is too weighted simply to economic development uh, at the expense of, of social and environmental factors. What we're saying is there has to be an even balance. Planning projects raise passions, and some campaigners argue that the government's guidance doesn't do enough to protect the environment. It brings out what we've been saying um, since the original draft policy was published, um, which is that the government needs to be really careful to treat economic, social and environmental issues equally in the planning system um, and not prioritise um, one over the other. The green belt is protected in the plans and today's report welcomes a commitment from the government to develop on brownfield land first. The planning system is hugely important. It's there to make sure that we have the jobs and the homes that we need, but not at the expense of the, the natural environment or the historic environment, which are absolutely crucial to us. That's why we have a planning system. Very important uh, commitment that we have to maintain a planning system that balances all of these things. That's what we're determined to do. Ministers are also being told to sharpen up the language in the new guidance. MPs say a lot of the wording is woolly and vague. It could end up slowing down the planning process by bogging it down in appeals. The government wants local communities to have more say over what is built and where, but it also needs the planning system to spur growth in the economy. It's a tricky balance to strike, and the government's final planning policy will be published in the spring. Ben Wright, BBC News, Westminster.